welcome back masters to another video hope you guys had a wonderful day my day was awesome it was amazing and i just want to um do an update analysis for a subscriber of mine you know he requested me to do um to break down the spear and that's what i'm doing but i did break down the spear before about a week ago you know so if you haven't seen that video please go and check it out you might learn something and because it was a successful analysis it's, it played out um exactly how i said it was going to play out so um that was a great analysis so now let's do another update analysis on this spear to see um exactly what what um is happening and i learned something new looking over this spear that i didn't see before you know i didn't see it before but now i'm seeing things um a bit hmm, i wouldn't say differently but i'm seeing it clearer you know because in the last update analysis i said that we were in a uptrend i mean we are still in a uptrend but things are changing on the broader scale a broader perspective because if we look at this is the monthly time frame and if we look at what happened price could not break above these highs so that was very significant to me why could not price break why why could price not break above these previous highs you know so that tells me that this all this bearish move we had here was not a structural retest of this and looking even closer I realized that this low here is actually lower than this low you know so it tells me that this this bullish move here was actually a structural retest of this because this was not a structural retest and if it is not a structural retest it is indeed supply here and this is now a structural retest of supply you know so that's very interesting to me hmm. so let's go into the weekly and see what we have for the weekly okay so we can see that the weekly trend was broken you know the weekly uptrend was broken what we have here let's just start from this area here so we had this structural retest here to break these highs and price went up and did exactly that now we wait for a structural retest of this impulse or this to be taken out and we had a structural retest here to break these highs and that's what price did but if we look closely we see that price broke it by a small amount and the amount it breaks the previous high is very significant to us so we have to take that into consideration because it didn't break the high you know a lot of distance so it tells us that um momentum is maybe starting to to shift so now we had this impulse so now we wait for a structural retest of this impulse to go further up or we wait for the low to be taken out and price falls and took that out you know so we have small supply here so price continues to fall here did another structural retest to break the lows that's what price did came down so now we wait for a structural retest of this 
bearish impulse of the high to be taken out and the high was indeed taken out as we can see so now we have this bullish impulse here this candle here this bullish candle we wait for a structural retest of this candle or this low to be taken out so let's go into the daily so we can even have a closer look you know this was from our previous analysis where we stated that this law would be broken and then it was broken you know so we had a structural retest here stated to break these lows here so we had supply here to break this light blue demand that we had to say that this was weak demand and price falls right through it you know so from here now we wait for a structural retest of this supply or we wait for supply to be taken out and what happened supply was indeed taken out price went right through it so now we have this bullish impulse here we wait for a structural retest of this to go back up and break the previous high or we wait for the demand to be taken out here so now we can see that price falls to here went back up tested this area and never went lower than this area and went up and come back down doing a structural retest so we're currently on a structural retest on the daily so let's take a look at the four hour so now from the four hour we can see um price came here as we would expect a structural retest here price came down went back up went back up here to do a structural retest of this but then price falls here and did not break this it did not break this low here so then we invalidate this as a structural retest because if this was a structural retest price would have broken these lows and went lower so this was not a structural retest so if it's not a structural retest it is demand here so now this was a structural retest of this demand to break this high and that's exactly what price did came down to here did a structural retest went up and broke the high as we expected it to so now from this impulse that we have here and we're looking at four hour so now this impulse that we have here we wait for a structural retest of this impulse here the markets are now closed by the way that's why you're not seeing any movement um it's saturday so markets open tomorrow um yes why am i digressing <laughs> so now we wait for after this bullish impulse we had here that broke these highs here now we wait for a structural retest of this impulse to continue to go back up and break this high or price to come down lower and take out this demand that we had here confirming this as supply and then we would wait for a structural retest of supply or we wait for that supply to be taken out so we are ahead of the market <laughs> so we are already you know knowing what will happen by what the market gives us you know so um that is i don't think you would need anything lower than the four hour um because we already know so i mean the hour we can look at the hour um it's just basically the same thing you know we had our demand here we had our structure we just saw demand to break the highs the highs were broken you know and now we wait for a structure retest of this to go back up and break the highs or to go right through the demand we had here and continue to go lower so those are the only 
possibilities that we have. Failure to do any of those concepts will result in structure being range bound or a state of consolidation and that wouldn't be a trade setup you would be interested in trading or looking to trade to be profitable. So um, don't want to make this video too too long. We are already at 10 minutes. Um, shout out to that subscriber that asked me to break down this pair. It tells me that people are engaged, people are indeed watching. So thank you all for watching. I do appreciate you guys so, so, so much. And if there is any other pair you guys want me to look at, um, I'll definitely break it down for you guys. Love you all so much. Thank you all for subscribing and thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.